Hi there everyone. I'm Shelby Myers with your Fox 10 News Now update. A senseless and tragic death in Pritchard after a woman was shot and killed while worshiping in church. It happened out on Mayor Street just after 7. The victim, 65 year old Grace Carter, was at Bible study at Everlasting Life Holiness Church when she fell to the floor. At first, people thought she'd had a heart attack, but then it was discovered that Carter had been shot by a stray bullet that came through the front door, hitting her in the chest, police say. Pritchard police are investigating, but say right now they don't believe the shooting was intentional. A woman is rushed to the hospital after being hit by a car in Westmobile. It happened last night at the corner of Greelot and Knollwood. We're told the injuries are serious. Mobile police say the woman was trying to cross Knollwood Drive when she was hit by a car leaving the nearby Circle K. The driver did remain on scene. This is an active investigation. Two teenagers are accused of stealing a car and then running from officers who tried to stop them. Yesterday's pursuit ended at Woodlawn Drive off Dolphin Island Parkway. Mobile police say the teens bailed out of the car but were quickly taken into custody. At last check, two, the two 17-year-old boys were being held at the Strickland Youth Center. The NFL announcing the death of another legend. According to the league, John Madden died unexpectedly. Madden wasn't just known for his 10 years at the helm of the Oakland Raiders, where the team made eight playoff appearances. He was also a longtime sports commentator who won 16 Emmy Awards. Madden was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 2006. NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell issued a statement on Madden's death saying, quote, nobody loved football more than coach. He was football. Madden is survived by his wife and sons. He was 85 years old. All right, it's looking like an active weather pattern for the Gulf Coast as we go through the next couple of days headed towards New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. And we are starting to see some showers and some thunderstorms to our north and west. Uh, real chance of some severe weather here, but in our local area, it is just a marginal risk as we go into tonight. We'll be in that level one marginal risk tonight, and we're going to see that tomorrow as well. And that is the lowest risk zone category. Just means we could see a strong storm or two, but we're not expecting widespread severe weather. Today's temperatures record highs in the forecast area today. Mobile, the old record was 78 and we have hit 80 so far and we're close to an all time record for the month of January. If we make it to 81, we're going to be tying that. So that is a very significant number, especially the back half of the month of December here. Pensacola 79 degrees. Here's a look at your future cast modeling and we are going to see some scattered showers and thunderstorms across the area tonight. Uh, future cast is not real strong with big storms tonight, but it is showing passing showers moving through the area and tomorrow scattered showers and storms continue across the Gulf Coast region with this real soupy humid air mass in place and that'll be around through tomorrow evening. Here's your forecast as we head towards New Year's Eve and New Year's Day, Friday, New Year's Eve, Saturday, New Year's Day. Temperatures in the upper 70s and it looks like we've got a little rain chance in here. Best chance is going to be Saturday at at 60% and we'll see some storms there too. Then we'll get colder by Sunday night down to 30 degrees and near freezing on Monday night. Thanks for joining us here on Fox 10.